Week 15 in the NFL playoff races are heating up. This is Upsides. I'm Matt Ufford, your host, joined as always by my faithful friends, Alex, the emotionally stunted 49ers fan, and Will, our sound guy. We're friends? Yeah, you and I are. We're friends. Hey. You're not welcome at my home, but at work we're friends. <laughs> sure. Work friends. So that's because your wife works with children. Yeah, there's I legal can't. things. Yeah. And you have a daughter now, so. Yeah, it's 18 years. <laughs> Thursday night football is a kind of a good one. Let's look at some storylines in Cardinals versus Rams. We've got a faltering, very, but still very good D versus a very good D that's on the rise. Two consecutive shoutouts for the Rams. Yeah. Is that real? Well, one of them was the Rams. So that, really so that count? doesn't count. And the other was the Raiders, right? Ooh. Well, yeah. you know what a shout-out's a shout-out in the NFL. They're all professionals. And, of course, Jeff Fisher versus Bruce Arians, a mediocre coach versus a weirdly wizard-like coach. He is. He's a modern-day wizard. He looks like he's melting, though. He looks like a candle that's been left in the sun too long. Let's go to the injury report. The Cardinals are pretty banged up, huh? Antonio Cromartie's day-to-day, but I think there's a good chance he'll play. Tyron Matthew will be out with the thumb. Uh, Paul Fanica, he's hurt in, on the offensive Paul line. Paul who? That's not a real person. That sounds like a, a fake plant. So Andre Ellington to season ending IR, they're starting Kerwin Williams. That's that's a paint. That's off brand paint. <laughs> Definitely has lead in it. <laughs> But yeah, this is a Cardinals team that's pretty beat up. The offense does not look good. They're good for like one miracle long touchdown pass per week. But other than that, I don't trust the offense to do anything. No, especially with the banged up line, yeah. On the other hand, the Rams defense is rounding into health. They got Chris Long back a couple weeks ago. Robert Quinn looks like himself again. Ten and a half sacks, last eight games. Not in the first five, so he's coming around. The NFC West feels like a mob of three teams that are like fighting over Black Friday shit and then one team just kind of like creeping behind them all, just like, shh, please don't notice me. <laughs> and then Colin Kaepernick gets trampled <laughs> on the way to the snapback yep. section. The line on this game, the Rams, despite being six and seven, last place in the division, are actually favored by three and a half points. Four now. Four now, yeah. oh man, all the action's going towards the Rams. I think the Rams will win outright, but I think the Cardinals will cover. Drew Stanton versus Sean Hill, so uninspiring, but. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, did, it really depends on which defense recovers more fumbles and returns them for, yeah. for touchdowns. The Cardinals have almost as many defensive touchdowns the last few weeks as offenses. That's good. We've got some great AFC divisional matchups. Uh, Cleveland and Cincinnati are playing each other in the Johnny Manziel debut, we think. Uh, we've got Houston and Indianapolis as the Texans make a late rush for the playoff spot, but we're gonna focus instead on the AFC West where the Broncos at 10 and three travel to San Diego, the eight and five Chargers. Julius Thomas is expected to play just in time for, oh, not just in time, my fantasy team is already knocked out of the playoffs. Speaking of fantasy disappointments in the first round of the playoffs, Peyton Manning, zero touchdowns in week 14, bringing an end to his 51 consecutive game streak with a touchdown pass. Sorry, Peyton, maybe just play 51. He's not got 51 more games in him. How many, that's like eight years? Something like that. If you're looking for hope for the Chargers, Denver is only three and three on the road this year, merely a plus eight point differential. So the Chargers, are the Chargers good at home? When, uh, when their it, fans actually show up? When the 18 fans are, are in the stands, yeah. Ooh. Something to think about if you're the Chargers defensive coordinator, whoever that is. Chuck Pagano's baby bro. The last three Denver opponents, uh, KC, who else? Miami, Buffalo, have had fantastic pass rushes. I've only knocked Peyton Manning down twice. Zero sacks, for real? Well, no, they've sacked him. He's been sacked twice in the last three games, but he's only been hit twice, too, so. Protected excellently. You gotta rush him! You yeah. gotta put the heat on Peyton Manning! Rattle his cage! I wanted to rattle the camera, but then we'd have to reset it. Broncos are favored by three and a half here on the road. What do you say? I like the Chargers. Like the Chargers yeah. outright? I'm not that ballsy, but I'll take them with the 3-5. It's a narrow window. Whatever I pick in any Broncos game, I just get it wrong automatically. Yeah. So, oh, f it. like it even matters. So I'll take the Chargers. Why not? I want some fish tacos. Late kickoff Sunday, oh boy, it's the Upsides rivalry game. My Seahawks play host to Alex's 49ers. Ah, man, Alex was, it was like being around a 10 year old whose dog had died on Monday morning after the Niners lost in Oakland to the Raiders. Alex, I'm gonna be gentle here. Be gentle. After the Niners miss the playoffs, should the 49ers get rid of Harbaugh or Kaepernick or both of them? Uh, Kaepernick just, won't go anywhere next year. It's just the he'll, stadium. He'll, it's the I do. Stadium. I don't like that the Niners got a new stadium. Let me ask you a question, Alex. Yeah. If you could have this Niners team, they, they somehow make the playoffs, go on a Super Bowl run, Harbaugh, 
crowned coach of the year for turning it around. Would you accept that if your father had to go to state prison for five years? The Super Bowl run in what could be Justin Smith last year. There's nothing that I, like. There's nothing that can top that. You, Besides your father not uh, going to prison for five you years. Had to go there. Can so it be far. like a nice Swedish prison? State prison. Can he have his books? He can have it. Yeah. Well, some books. Dad, I sent you to prison so the 49ers could win. <laughs> but if it were I got any other you year, your if books. Were, if it were any other year, it'd be easy. But in what could be Justin Smith's last year, that man needs a ring. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the Seahawks in this one. I do not like a ten and a half point line. I'm still a little gun shy about uh, getting too cocky. Let's take the Niners on the points just like Alex is about to. I've been cold the last couple weeks, so I'm gonna reverse jinx myself and Ooh. take Seattle. All right, we're both reverse jinxing <laughs> the team. Maybe our energies cancel out. Wait, so I have the tiebreaker? Yeah, we like. Give you a tie. Nice! Break the tie with a tie. Sunday night football, even better than NBC executives could have possibly imagined before the season. Cowboys at Eagles, both teams nine and four, your de facto NFC East championship. Oh, look at you, festive. You're kind of, I like, I like the hat. I made and it. the hair down too. Oh no, it's a wig that's like attached to the hat. A lot on the line, not just for the NFC East title, but the winner of this game is still in play for a first round bye. Line on this game, according to our friends at Odd Shark, is Philly by three and a half. I do think that uh, old Marky Mark Sanchez and Chip Kelly can solve that defense. Not that it's like Stephen Hawking, like solving a child's puzzle, right. you know? <laughs> well, unless it like unless it's a physical puzzle. Right? I'm gonna lean Eagles, what do you say? Eagles. You're gonna go with the Cowboys. I'll speak for him, he'll say tie. I'm going Cowboys, don't put words in my mouth. Monday Night Football is the Saints at the Bears. Ugh. Of course the Saints are still in the, still in play to win the division. It's guaranteed now that the winner of the NFC South won't be above 500. Yeah. This yeah. game's gonna lead a lot of people to drinking because so many people are gonna tune in for fantasy's sake. Ooh. And yeah. neither of these teams can all ever perform fully. Well, they both have lousy defenses, so maybe they can. Chicago, deliver me some snow. Make the conditions really terrible, then I will tune in. I will watch this game if and only if there is snow, have zero interest in it. Still got to root for the Bears to, ho to hope for as bad a record of the NFC South winner as possible. Yeah, That's let it burn. Logical. I can get behind that. Let Let's, it yeah, burn. just um, get the bulldozers and just run them through the entire NFC South. What's the line on this game? Uh, Saints by 2-5. I'm taking Saints all the way. JK, Bears. And Cutler's taking a <laughs> on the field. <laughs> If any NFL player did, it would definitely be him. Those are your week 15 picks from the Upsides crew. Uh, should be a fun slate of games. Sorry about the mediocre episode. We're, we're working on that. We're gonna make some changes next week. It's cold out. Join us next week for a very fun holiday themed Upsides episode. Enjoy the games. We'll see you then.